Leos, I hope you are doing wonderful tonight. Do yourselves a favor and trust your intuition for guiding you to this moon message for the new moon in Sagittarius. So this is covering November, I almost said September, November 23rd through the 26th. So new moon energy is all about new, cleaning the slate, opportunity beckons type of energy, and Sag is the archer, the centaur. So they're always shooting for the stars with their bow and arrow. So as a collective, this moon is really encouraging us to go after our visions, our dreams, and turn them into a reality. So let's see what this means in terms of your love life. Who's shooting their bow and arrow at you, Leo? Let's dive into this. What's the energy for Leo? What's going on for Leo for the new moon and Sagittarius? Their love life. What's going on with their love life? Leo's love life. Thank you. We have the hermit could be dealing with a Virgo energy. So the hermit is very much someone who keeps to themselves. The hermit is always going inward and finding enlightenment. That's what that candor and that, that candor, I almost said got caught between candle and lantern. That's what that candor is symbolizing, Leo. It's all about enlightenment. This one keeps coming out for people. The three of pentacles in reverse too. So there could have been a third party here. Maybe that's what called you or this person to go inward, kind of go your own way. But the three of pentacles is Capricorn energy. So upright, it's collaboration, teamwork in reverse, especially in regards to a love reading. I do feel like there was a third party. Tell me more about this for Leo. What's going on in Leo's love life? I'm hearing regrets about it. Yeah. The sun, here's your Leo energy and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, so the wheel of fortune signifies an ending. The wheel is made a full revolution. And the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So I'm getting something with a nine energy, nine and ten, something almost like ending. Um, I feel like, yeah, because we have nine on the hermit, one nine with the sun, one plus nine also breaks down to a ten. Ten is Roman numeral X right here. So this definitely could have been an X. But this is someone that I feel like made you happy until they didn't, <laughs> right? It's like once you find out, found out about this third party, you were kind of over it, Leo. The Wheel of Fortune is like, even though it's good energy, right? It's the Wheel of Fortune, things going in your favor. It's an ending. So maybe it's almost like you took this as a blessing in disguise that you found out something about a third party because you were like, yeah, if I would have continued that relationship, like God knows. But really, this is happy energy, the sun and the wheel of fortune next to the three of pentacles in reverse. So I can only gather that a third party, it's almost like a third party situation made you go inward and you're very, it's like you're very happy because of it. Take that first one I'm hearing. Boundaries, yeah, you were happy to set boundaries with this person and say, no, my energy is very, 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 sacred look at the bottom of the deck soulmates 33 so this person definitely considered you a soulmate so i kind of am wondering why this third party energy is here tell me more for leo about the new moon and sagittarius their love life energy what's coming through for leo what is this energy so we have shadow coming out shadow someone's shadow side yeah that makes sense with the hermit Someone had to get to know their shadow side. Why do I feel like this was you? When you put up boundaries, walls went inward. And then we have the forest energy, maybe because the big cat is on this card. So the forest is all about alliance and partnership. So maybe this person went the direction of finding someone else while you went inward. This could also be finding partnership in um, almost gratitude to your shadow self too. Something about going inward and into the dark night of the soul energy, I feel like called you in, Leo. You know what? This one is staring at me, this animal right here that they really want me to take. Squirrel, this is about hoarding, stashing. So I feel like I'm getting like a tit for tat energy. Like this person was like keeping tabs on something or it, it's almost like notches on a bedpost. Maybe that's the three of pentacles in reverse. The flip phone, I feel like this person had another phone or, you know, this is supposed to be about working and due diligence, but maybe they said they had a work phone and you found out it was someone else or something. Yeah, look at this shark. They were hungry. They were trying to have their cake and eat it too. They are telling me one more. Or two more. 
cold brew. This is about energy and activity and money green. Yeah, they could have said that they were like out trying to make money, which maybe it was true at some point to some extent. But this is about abundance. I feel like they were like kind of gallivanting with this energy, maybe buying drinks for someone they shouldn't have been buying drinks for at the time. Tell me more for Leo energy. What does Leo need to know with this energy? What's coming through for Leo with this love life energy for the new moon in Sagittarius? So I am getting that a third party is someone that was keeping tabs, tit for tat energy is now trying to come back in, but you have your walls up, right? I'm getting um, that visual of, you know, when you like kind of turn those doors with those like kind of wheel things on it, when you turn it, it's either like very much locked or you unlock it. I feel like you locked that door and they're trying to get in again. Yeah, they're trying to become stable with you, get into that joyful, high vibrational energy that I feel like you closed off to them. So let's see what the message of advice is for you, Leo. Take that first one, the first two I'm hearing. So we have read it. This could be about social media. This could just be about diving into your own personal hobbies. Connect with fire and that is your element. So this is really about, you know, maybe even with joy and stability and the sun energy, there is a lot about fire energy. So this could even be like starting a bonfire, maybe going in a hot tub, basking in the sun, like whatever you do to connect with fire, the universe is calling you into that because I feel like it's going to gas you up. It's going to give you even more energy to do something. All right, let's get something through the charms for Leo. What does Leo need to see about this love connection for the Newman and Sag? So we have an anchor, a paused energy, stop the ship energy on the three of pentacles in reverse. So this situation really made this person stop, pause, and look. I'm hearing read between the lines too. Tell me more for Leo. Tell me more about what Leo needs to see with this love situation for the new moon. So we have Saturn and Gemini. So Saturn is the father of the Zodiac, the provider, the bringer home of the bacon. And then Gemini is the sign of communication. Providing communication, intellect. I feel like there's something to here about possibly a conversation that needs to be had about providing and like what were you doing? What were you thinking when you were stepping out? Second house is about value. So yeah, I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had about like, what were your values? What were your morals at the time? What was your integrity? If this person does come back around with a wheel of fortune, which can symbolize sometimes coming back around, I do feel like this conversation needs to be had, although I feel like your boundaries are up anyway, and I feel like that's what the universe is calling you to do. So I hope this resonated, Leo. Thank you so, so much, and I will definitely catch you in another moon phase reading very soon.